and gentles. As you know, I am married to the wonderful Lord Caradoc. I would tell you a story of how wives are perceived back then as today. Not always to my way of thinking. But there was one wife who started her tale in a way that I really like. So I'm going to read you some of her points, and it is the wife of Bath and the prologue to her tale. Experience, though no written authority were in this world is good enough for me to speak of the woe that is in marriage. For gentlemen, since I was 12 years of age, thanked be God who is eternally alive, I have had five husbands at the church door. But to me it was certainly told not long ago that since Christ never went but once to a wedding in the Cana of Galilee, that by that example he taught me that I should be wedded but once. Men may conjecture and interpret in every way, but well I know, expressly without a lie, God commanded us to go grow fruitful and multiply. That gentle text I can well understand. Also, I know well, he said, my husband should leave father and mother and take to me. But he made no mention of number, whether of two or of marrying eight. Lo, consider that wise king named Solomon. I believe he had wives more than one. As would God it were lawful unto me to be refreshed half so often as he. <laughs> Blessed be God that I have wedded five. Welcome the sixth whenever he should appear. For truly, I will not keep myself chaste in everything. When my husband is gone from this world, <laughs> some Christian man shall wed me straight away. For then the apostle says that I am free to wed. By God's side I swear, wherever it pleaseth me. I know well Abraham was a holy man, and Jacob also, insofar as I know, and each of them had more than two wives. Where can you find in any historical period that high God forbade marriage by express word? I pray you tell me or where he commanded virginity. But Christ, who is the source of perfection, did not command that everyone should go sell all that he had and give it to the poor, and in such wise follow him in his footsteps. He spoke to those who would live perfectly. <laughs> And gentlemen, by your leave, I am not that. <laughs> I, will I will bestow the flower of all my age in the acts and in the fruits of marriage. I will envy no virginity. Let them be bred of pure wheat seed. And let us wives be called barley bread. And yet, with barley bread, Mark can tell it, our Lord Jesus refreshed many a man. 